What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be reviewing the Vori Standing Desk or Height Adjustable Desk, one of the best I think for the money. And if at any point during the video you want to check out this exact same standing desk, all the Amazon links below for the US, UK and Canada. Now I've been using this desk for a couple weeks now and it's got some really epic pros. Let's get into it. Switching into more of a vlog style, let's go over this desk. So first it has this really, really nice curve. So what that allows you to do is basically have a deep desk but be able to sit pretty close to it. This really, really helps with productivity more than you would think because you can have a book sitting here, an iPad, a laptop, um, but you still are close inside the desk while still having a pretty deep desk. This is a deeper desk than normal. You can see how deep it is. You can see how much length that has. At the widest point, this is about 28 inches and about 25 inches, about right here in the least wide part. It's still much wider than typical desks. A typical computer desk is about 23 inches deep. So you're getting a lot of real estate here, which is good. That's a good thing. Now, this is how you control it here. You can set the modes by clicking this button, putting it to the height, uh, although you can just do up or down. So I have it set to number one being the standing height. Uh, and you can see it is fairly quick, which is really, really cool. Now I do have some problems with cable management as you can see right there. Um, however, this goes up very quickly and it does have a big, big capacity. So sitting under it now, you can see that this is actually double motors. That's where the motors sit right up there. There are two motors in this, which basically means that you can have a much bigger capacity than a normal standing desk with just one motor. And you can actually put 300 pounds on top of this desk, which is a lot, especially if you want to put your PC up there, you will definitely be able to do that. Now to set a mode, let's say you went down to a mode like this, you would just click this button. And since it's on that right there, and then you'd click like number three. And now if I click number two, then I click number three, it'll go back to the height that I set it at. Now, as well as that, there's also a ton of different colors and three different sizes. There is a 55 inch, which is what this one is because I didn't want one too big. Then there's a 65 or a 62, and then there's a 73, I think. So these things can get quite, quite big. Now let's talk about the top layer here. This is a very, very solid piece of, it's obviously MDF. However, the top coat of it is this thick plastic. So you could probably set your drinks on top of this without having any warping. Um, and if you nick this, it's not going to just nick like a normal desk that's MDF. This is probably that thick of just this hard um, plastic, which is really, really nice. It's kind of like a coat. And you can see that here. It is a very, very solid piece. It feels like when you take it out that it's just a solid piece of really strong plastic. Um, however, there is MDF inside of it just to give it its rigidity and then this plastic is basically covering. So it's very, very solid and very well made. Now again, as well as that, you can see under here, it has this really cool lip which does make it easier for arms to get in here. It makes a bigger difference than you would think. You can see how it kind of arcs down, which is really, really nice. And again, I have all this all modded out. I have a USB hub there. And my cable management does need some work. Um, I haven't been paying that much attention to it. But again, let me show you how fast it is. I'm gonna put it to my standing height. So this is currently my standing height. I kind of like to work just like this. You can see typical standing height. Now I'm gonna go the typical desk height for when I'm sitting down, which I do have to preset number two. Let's see how quickly it does that. It's pretty fast because it has the dual motors. You can see once you click that, once you click that, it just goes down quite nicely. You just pull your chair up and there it is. Now almost at knee height. It is very, very quick. And if you don't want to actually use those, you can just use these buttons to go up or down. If you just wanted to go up or down, you do have four presets. But now I do want to talk about building this thing. So it comes in a really nice package box. Um, and then you basically pull the bottom out, you put the legs together. It's very, very easy. And it's all really high quality uh, screws that are very easy to just screw in. You basically then just screw the legs and the motors onto the base plate. You flip it upside down or right side up, and then it's ready to go. And the calibration process is very easy. You pretty much just press it all the way down, um, and then it'll go down and back up, and then it's good to go. So you don't really need to know a lot to use this desk. It has a crazy big capacity for it because it's dual motors and it's quick. And did I mention it's quiet? Listen to this. Super quiet. It actually puts out kind of a nice sound. I don't mind it at all. 
Not a bad sound at all. But guys, overall, this desk has been extremely reliable and very, very premium and probably the best height adjustable desk I've used for the money. Again, if you guys do want to go pick this desk up for yourselves, there'll be Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you enjoy tech reviews, gaming tech reviews, setup videos, I do a ton of those, so please consider subscribing. But this was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys later.